you know, don't come to Ellis Works. And the question I want to ask you is that every, the price of everything has gone up over the last year. By, gas has gone up by 60%. My homeowner's insurance went up by 65%. My medical insurance went up by 75%. I dropped it and don't have any. My, the taxes, property taxes went up by only 10%. My main state taxes went down, and uh, IRS taxes went down. So, and the income went way down. And I don't know what to do about that. Thanks. Well, I will tell you, I've been here all day long speaking to companies here, and the the simple reason that. The simple fact is this. The United States of America, right now as a country, is trying to dig itself out of recession. The state of Maine, while it's in better shape than much of the nation, our unemployment is 7.5% with the nation's average is 9%, is uh, struggling as well to get out of the recession. 7.5% is way too high. We need jobs. We need better jobs. Not only more jobs, we need better jobs. We need higher paying jobs. Many businesses around the state have told, told me we are looking for people to fill some of the jobs that we have here, but we can't find the skills that we need. So that's an issue. But let me tell you one very serious issue and I hear every day. Number one, regulations in Maine are onerous. They're way above the national average and people complain all the time and that's why a lot of companies just, we had one employer from the South Portland area who had 2,000 employees eight years ago, pulled up stakes and now reopened his business in South Carolina. Because South Carolina is a much business friendlier state. That is one thing that's very high on our agenda to become more business friendly. Now, that doesn't mean destroying the regulations, the good regulations we have. That means getting more friendly. That means being having a better attitude when somebody comes to seek help in Augusta. Number two, Maine right now pays 42% above the national average for its energy. 42% above the national average. The state of Maine's energy cost is the 12th most expensive in the United States of America. What do we do? We need to lower the cost of energy. Maine has a renewable portfolio of 44%. Currently in law, 35% is currently what we're paying for. There's a movement on around the state to increase it by 20%. Somebody in the state wants us to go from 12th to 1st. That is not one position I want to be in as a governor. So we need to, one, lower the cost of our energy. We have to better do a better job in our schools, K-12, to make sure that the skills we teach our kids are the skills that are needed in the business world and in the job world, in healthcare, uh, natural semiconductor, the wood industry, agriculture. We need to do a better job training our kids. Most of all, we have to be a much friendlier state to do business with. We do not want to send people away. We want them to come here, invest here, and live, work, and play here. Now, in January, I am going to be offering a bill to the legislature to remove all income tax off retirees. So that they don't have to stay in the state. 
the reason why they're the most vulnerable and the ones that can least afford it. And those who can't afford it, leave. They leave for six months and a day. And they go to Florida, Arizona, Nevada, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, and they don't pay income tax. But they come back in the summer months or they come back when the weather is warm. I have no problem with an elderly person who's a resident of Maine who wants to go to warmer weather in January and February. I just would like to keep them here 10 months a year.